back to Garden State Park. I'm Sharon Smith along with Stan Bergstein and Kenny Rice, and we are going to see seven outstanding three-year-old pacing colts and geldings in the Breeders' Crown race just a little bit later on tonight. Of course, Nihilator is getting all the attention, but that doesn't mean that there aren't other very, very good horses in the field, some of whom would be superstars if they had uh, had the luck to be foaled in another year. One, for example, chairman of the board, he is a major winner. He's won a lot of money, and he's spent an awful lot of time chasing Nihilator. Skip Lewis is his trainer. Kenny Rice is trackside with Skip right now. Thanks, Sharon. And if chairman of the board wins some check tonight, he will go over the $1 million mark if he gets in the top five. Skip Lewis, he has been a good horse for you. He sure has. We talk about catch drivers, and you have one of the good ones in the bike tonight in John Campbell. He has made an art form of the sport, but about 20 years ago when a lot of the top grand circuit trainers were reluctant to go with the catch driver, unless, of course, they had a, a horse they didn't have a lot of faith in, maybe a claimer, you were putting catch drivers on your good horses. When I first started racing Colts in 1967, I knew that I wasn't capable of driving them, and I picked the better drivers to start driving for me, and it's been very, very uh, well off for me. I felt that 5% of a lot was better than 10% of nothing. And Bill O'Donnell is driving tonight, has been for Billy Houghton on uh, Nihilator. Do you see this as the way of the future, much like in thoroughbreds, where you have trainers, you have jockeys, trainers, and drivers, and standard breads? Well, it's taken 20 years to come this far. I think that maybe not in our lifetime, but we'll see it soon that it'll be strictly trained and drivers with chairman of the board he has been an impressive horse has done well maybe the top horse in the three-year-old division had it not been for the great annihilator coming along at this time how do you see him in tonight's race i think he's going to give a very good account of himself if he gets a trip he could be any place the saying goes along these lines uh, you would rather have your horse especially a colt racing in the warmth in the hot and humid weather a little bit cooler for a mare but no one likes to race in cold weather like we're having tonight do they no, but yet he seemed to warm up well, and I think he'll show that he raced well. He raced well last spring. I think he will tonight. Thank you very much. Good luck, Skip. Thank you. Skip Lewis, the trainer and chairman of the board. Sharon? Thank you, Kenny.